but yeah, it can be done. Okay. It might be a 10 minute job. 10 minutes, not much. Yeah, but you'll, you'll have to, <laughs> you'll have to do the. I thought it was only about two hours. 10 minutes, not much. No, 10 minutes is not much. Okay, so we ran into one problem that I have to try and figure out when we tried to add the literature data mm -hmm. to the occurrences database. I have confidence I can figure out what that is, but it's a, a tedious task to try to figure out because I have to look at one by one okay. which ones aren't working. Okay. But we've gone through the process, the process yeah. and now you have one table. And I guess I promised that I would deal with the problem here of these two records that don't actually have any data, they're not real, mm -hmm. right? We could get rid of those, okay. right? Can just delete. We just delete those. Okay, okay that's gone. Mm -hmm. But there are other things you probably want to do here. No? You probably want to turn your scientific name into a genus and species. Yes. Or to turn your genus and species into a scientific name, mm -hmm. or, both. or both. I don't know which you want to do, but it's one thing you might want to do. The other is, your photos database didn't have a collector in them, but you know who the collector is, you yes, could add yes, that. Yes, they have a collector. And another thing is, if I noticed correctly, it's, I don't see it here, but when we add the other data from here, the collector name isn't the same. You might want to make the collector name no, consistent. No, no, the collector name, the collector name can, cannot be the same because this data is collected by different people in different countries, different localities. But I'm convinced that I know this person. Yeah, yeah, it's me. Okay. <laughs> But now, my, but my collection name is the same. No, it isn't. It's Sangi M. Uh, no, it isn't. Oh, there's no dot that way. There's no small s in the other one. A small s. That's a small s. Oh. Oh. It's a typing error. <laughs> I didn't realize. Typing error. And it's been repeated and repeated and repeated. <laughs> you copied down in Excel. Yeah. I just okay. Type and, oh my. <laughs> okay, but anyway, the idea now is that you should be able to do that sort of thing here uh -huh. and with the tools available in Access, a lot of these things are really easy to do. Like to take the scientific name and turn it into a genus and species, you can write a formula to do that. You say, the genus would be the part before the space. Put that in genus. The species would be the part after the space. Put that in species. That sort of thing. And the author name will be the last one. Yeah. It's a question. Yeah. So just a footnote that we're going now over into data cleaning. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, not only are you gonna you're getting kind of a, an unexplained introduction to access, but also someday in the future, I think Friday maybe, you're going to see a couple more tools. Info X Y and refine. Mm -hmm. So these are a bunch of tools that you can use when you clean up or fix up a data set and do things like making those sayings all with a capital S, things like that. Mm -hmm. But that's just a footnote that we're kind of melding over into a different topic, which is how you clean up a data set. And if you were willing, we could use this data set in our exercise and refine on Friday. Yeah. Fine. And everyone can clean your data. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> okay, that's good because it's a good size, has a good amount of information and people are now quite familiar with it. Mm -hmm. I won't have to explain the data in that case. So this is good. So, are you a satisfied customer? Yes, sir. <laughs> 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 okay. Hopefully that gives you an idea of what you have to go through to do this sort of a database creation. Um, I hope it wasn't terribly boring. It was fun for us. Yes, it was really fun. <laughs>